Okay, I picked up uh, three missile command boards for somewhat cheap, but uh, after getting them, they probably should have been a little bit cheaper because these boards have some issues. So this is gonna be the first of possibly three. Uh, this one is a missile command version four. Edge connectors, edge connect. This is the main. This is the important edge connector. That one's not really used. Uh, it's not pretty, but it's not horrible. It seems to be intact. Uh, nothing looks burnt off, so that's a good sign. But the rest of the board definitely has some issues. So, where do we start? Uh, it's dirty, which isn't, yeah, that's easy enough to fix. But uh, it's got, I don't know, corrosion or something here on the traces. Hopefully that can just clean up. We'll spray it down. Pokey's in backwards, so we'll pull that and we'll test that. Um, then it gets worse from here. Uh, you got that chip there, and with the traces hacked to crap. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with that, and I'm gonna pull that chip, put a socket in there, and try to fix as much as we can. Well, we're gonna have to fix everything if we want the board to work. Uh, let's see, other fun stuff. There's plenty of fun stuff on this board. Uh, these caps here, whoever installed them, didn't do a very good job. I mean, why are you laying these things over? So we're going to replace those. I believe that's missing. Yeah, I can feel the, the legs. The, so there's stuff missing from that one and missing from that one. This one here up here is mangled. A uh, nice little solder blob on that. Who knows what the heck they were doing there. Uh, this chip here, somebody didn't have the right size socket, so they pulled a couple last two pins and used that socket. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, pulled, they pulled all the bodies off the sockets. That's okay. That's fine by me because I was going to replace those anyway. These caps are kind of beat, so I need to replace those. I'm going to replace that socket. I'll replace the socket on the pokey. I'm going to replace that socket with the right size one. Uh, more of these little blue caps, which they, I will fix the installation of those and add the other ones that are missing. Replace that one. Seem to be missing the crystal. Uh, which I believe was supposed to be here on the river. Yeah, in this area. Or was it up here? Well, wherever it is, it's missing. <laughs> I'll have to find on the board where it's supposed to be and actually install a crystal. Because it's missing. You got a cap missing here, cap missing here. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff with that and then it gets uglier on the bottom side of the board okay where do we start uh wait there's that looks like it should be the crystal no that's the reset button sorry that's the reset button on the big legs so we got all sorts of we're gonna we'll look at this on the microscope here in a little bit too that uh the fact that you don't need the microscope to see this crap that's bad that's bad really bad who i don't know if they've i think that's just all the solder mask and everything's been destroyed on that one uh that doesn't look that pretty but that might clean up okay. Uh, we got a 
check things like these, make sure they're not touching. I'm sure there's all sorts of things that are. Then we come to the fun, fun, fun stuff. These are all been butchered. I don't know what the heck's on top of that. I don't know if there's something on top of that. I don't know if they put something on there or they tried to glue something down or I don't know. That's going to be a lot of cleanup. <clears throat> and then there's that one. I don't think that scratched through any of the traces. So that should be okay. A lot of bent pins and stuff we need to make sure that you know those aren't touch doesn't look like they're touching but we'll make sure they're not uh, okay so it's kind of ugly this one's gonna take a bit of work I got a couple centipedes that I'm gonna be working on too and we'll those mate bump this one out of the queue for a little bit since this is my own board and I just this one is more of a challenge to see if I can do it the scary thing is I've got one other board that's even uglier than this one and then I have another one that's not too bad but the edge connector is damaged and I'll have to fix that I'm not a big fan of having to fix edge connectors but it's really not, it doesn't look too bad on the other one. It's just one, one pin on one side. So it shouldn't be horrible. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to set up the microscope and we'll take a closer look at some of these. Because these are pretty nasty. Okay, here we're going to start looking at one of these. This is the one on the upper left. If you're looking at the edge connector on the left let's see if I can focus that in a little bit better that's not too bad uh, doesn't look too bad there sloppy work but you can see the let's see if I can get my right in here there's excess solder here, maybe it looks like. So I'll be cleaning this board with isopropyl, so we'll find out. Uh, a little blah, a little ball right there. Should look like that. So are we missing a pin or something? Or is that just an empty hole that was... Don't know. Uh, eh, maybe it's an empty hole like that one's supposed to be, yeah, via. That one leg looks funkier than the other. Not the greatest solder in the world, and they'll probably touch those up. Probably just remove the solder and re-solder them. Okay, where's the next ugly one? Ah, yes, this is the next ugly one. Let me rotate that so it goes in the right direction here. Oh, uh, yes, that's lovely. What the heck were they doing? That is messed up. It's missing solder mask, everything. Like, it looks like the trace is almost miss, unless there's just crap on it. Yeah, that might just be crap. Let me, where's my fiberglass pencil? Yeah, it might just be crap, huh? Alright, well, work on cleaning that up. Maybe that'll just clean up and I'll be good to go. Ugh. 
See, all right. Let's see if we can. Where's a good pointy device? That's a good pointy device. can see right here this pin it may not be touching but it's bent over and it could be touching that trace in which case that would be bad but uh, maybe not you should probably 3d print a little pointy device so it's easier. But that is definitely ugly. Okay. Uh, here's a here's the big blobs. I guess they're trying to fix something. It looks like they're bridging two pins, possibly. Well, I'm going to have to take a look at another board to see what that's actually supposed to look like. Uh, what the heck is that? <laughs> that is... What the hell? It's like a solder turd. That looks like... I'm going to take a picture of that one. It looks like a, a, a pin or something is coming through here. And they soldered to it rather than around that. Okay, go figure on that one. Alright, now yeah, let's go look at this pretty stuff up here. Oh gee, can you say cold solder joint? <laughs> okay, or can you say no solder joint? Like, how the heck do you even do that? Nice little solder blob right there. I guess I could use my mouse pointer as a pointer, right? Since it's on the screen, that would only make sense. Need to clean all that up. We'll go back through this again once I clean all. Once I clean all this up. Okay. More fugly stuff. As long as they haven't killed the traces, I guess I'll be happy. As long as I can solder new sockets in. They haven't killed. Focus. Yeah, looks like there's... I don't know what the heck that is on there. I'm probably going to let this one soak in isopropyl for a while. Just to let it get all that crap off there. This is questionable. That almost looks like rust. That trace is normally supposed to be a straight line. Pretty. Oh, look at that. Nice cold solder joint right there, too. I bet there's going to be a ton of those. Yeah, another one right there. There's going to be a ton of those on this board. This one is going to be a lot of work. But it'll be fun if I can get it working again. 
Remember that. Uh, in fact, let's <laughs> picture. That looks like another cold solder joint. That looks like somebody doesn't know how to solder with a damn. Atari, Atari boards are fragile enough. When you get somebody that doesn't know what the hell they're doing, they can really butcher a board. Good grief. How did they expect this thing to ever work with this soldering? What the hell they were using for soldering iron, but I got all the pens pins bent over. Alright, let's just Yeah, this one is going to be entertaining. Alright, what do we got over here? Everything there is okay. Those aren't touching, so that's good. Okay. Should rotate it so that it's actually going the way I'm going with the rails. I think we're back on the I'm just kinda taking a look around for random stuff here. These two are close together, but I don't think they're touching. No, but there is a cold solder joint right there. You can see the cracking right around here. So uh, there's going to be a. I'm going to have to probably inspect everything on this board. a good chunk of it. Oh yeah, I'm just going to be a lot and lot of soldering and fixing. Probably gonna have to run a lot of jumpers. So the first thing I'll probably do then is go through and fix all the damaged sockets, replace the the crappy sockets. So what the heck is that? Just yeah, maybe a little bit of a solder splash. This will be entertaining. Did I miss that one there? Whatever the heck. 
like that is. <laughs> Who knows what the heck that is? I'm guessing that's a pin. Alright, well, I'm gonna go and spray the hell out of this thing with isopropyl and let it soak for a little while. Probably have to do that multiple times and then we'll go from there. Okay, I scrubbed the hell out of that board. Um, sitting in my garage right now drawing so I figured while I'm doing that might as well test the pokey okay, focus that should be the pokey so what we need to do is go into the back bit tester here go to that I believe it's other There it is, pokey. 14 for those playing at home. Uh, negative jumper position one. Okay, push and hold test, and then red 17. A little hard doing this on the camera here. You'll get a little focus in and out issues here. Is that in 17? Ready to test. All right, so then, okay. Walk down. Testing. Passed. Woohoo! At least with this thing, it passed, so it didn't come back and say that it was completely dead, so that's a good thing. So we have a working pokey. That's a good thing. Alright. Well, it'll be a while before that thing dries, then we can go over it and take a look at it again. And then start figuring out what we want to fix first. Okay, back on Missile Command, I actually stole a camera from my 3D printer here. We're going to see uh, how well that camera works with this so that you should have an angle coming from this side of the board so you can see if we can see what I'm doing a little bit better so that because the camera on my left is blocked a lot of the times when I'm soldering or doing something so hopefully I can do like a picture-in-picture -picture thing we'll see what happens uh, I'll probably need to get a little bit better camera than the one I've got that one the one the extra camera that I have has is a no focus so alright uh, let's go ahead and just start removing crap from the board that needs to be fixed or replaced. So I think I'm going to start with the sockets over here on the left and then that and then I just work my way that way I think. Uh, so I'm going to flip the board around here actually. What's weird is on that camera, that camera there, everything's reversed because it's a webcam and I don't think the software that I'm using by default supports flipping it but I should be able to flip that in the uh, the software once I start creating videos we'll find out alright I'm gonna remove all the crap now starting here and working our way down I won't be surprised if I have to stop halfway and clean my desoldering gun. Alright, put on the old man glasses. Magnifying glasses from Walmart.
And here we go. Some of these pins will fall right out. If they do, that's good for me. If not, we'll work on getting them out. pile of all the crap that we're pulling out of this board. Now this one did I must did I forget miss it? Okay, that's the one on the end there, so we're gonna Don't want to damage the board, right? <laughs> that trace is missing. I don't know if that's missing or if it's just crap on there, but whatever. We'll figure it out once everything's out. I'm sure we're going to have issues with traces. Missing. Trace is broken. Better. Finger sticky from the uh, uh, flux. So if they fall out, they fall out onto my desk. So uh, takes a little extra heat, a little extra suction.
was in the center. Uh, flux is sticking to my damn fingers. It's a dirty job. to be a little stubborn that's fine there's all the ones that fell out yeah looks like I completely, completely missed that one yeah that would explain it <laughs> right over it all right Next, these. Probably more than I need to put on here, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> the applicator. Puts it out being a little stubborn too. And we still have one more row here. Flying out of there. Off the board, please. Yeah, that hole I'll have to clean out a little bit. Is that one want to come out? Ah, that one doesn't want to come out because I missed the entire row. Nobody said anything? Come on. You guys are watching me? 
I guess I get to figure out my own mistakes. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of them. But on this board, it won't make much difference. We'll see if I can bring this back from the dead. Slaughter's been removed. I bet those come out a lot easier. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go wash my fingers because they're driving me nuts. All right, back. Uh, fingers are just sticking together too damn much, so. Uh, all right, back, back, back. That one came out pretty easy. I did desolder that, so yeah. To reheat them, I'll have to reheat them. But... Turn on the iron here. Back to that other row here in a second. That came out pretty nice. So far it doesn't look like anything's trashed on top, which is good. I don't think anything was really trashed on the bottom either. It was just... They pulled the sockets and didn't finish the job. Soldering iron's up to speed. A little further down, that one comes out a little easier, like that. They were just sticking on the other side, it looks like. And that one, it's on the plane here. There we go. Okay, uh, almost done with those. Then once I'm done with these, then we'll go to the next thing, which is probably going to be the CPU socket. And like I said, I'm going to pull everything. before I start putting anything back in. So I'm going to pull and then I'm going to inspect traces, all that good stuff. A little 
slightly different back here. Wiggling the pins to get the solder to flow around a little bit. You scuff up the bottom of the board a little bit, but nothing disastrous. Especially on this board. That one's going to take a little extra probably from the top to get that pin out. And I'll go through and make sure all those holes are clean. how heavy this desoldering gun gets. Some people probably won't like using the gun, but I like it. <clears throat> I mean, there is a risk of doing damage with it, but... It usually does a pretty good job. to come out easiest can come out first. I do not care. As long as they all come out. So, we'll clean that hole up. Else is good to go. Uh, that one maybe. Nice and clean. So I got one last row to do.
seems to hold it to one side seems to work better. And then move back. All right. We can probably use the iron on this side to pull out what we need. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of that again. If it doesn't want to come out, don't force it. All right, put a little bit more solder on those. Well, that one's going to come out. That one looks like it's just got a. Both those have pins bent over. Come on. And we're scraping a little bit of the solder mask off, but. Not bad. No more than it's not. It's already been done. Yeah, I think that pin is just bent over. Is it? There we go. All the holes and traces on top look decent. Okay. Okay, next socket up. I think we're going to do this one next. that pile of junk let's go ahead and turn the board this way hopefully that's on camera every once in a while to shake anything loose out.
Pile of trash, go that way. That came out almost in one piece. A lint or something on there. All those look good. Yeah, that's just the... Well, well there's green coming up too. But this board has been seen better days. Extra solder balls coming off of that. Probably accumulating on the tip. see It's being a little stubborn. Okay. Want to be stubborn? Fine, be stubborn. Pad is not gone, it's still there. Just fluxing all that other crap on top of it. We will check continuity though. Okay, next up. Probably these caps. Probably not going to put flux on those. I'll probably just hit them with the iron. Well, that one's going to be easy to see.
Yep, pretty much almost everything down this column here. Starting at the this side here. I don't like that. Oh, hell, okay. I don't like that either. Is that chipping? Yeah, that's the socket. This needs to be re all right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this chip. That we need to save that chip. That's the prom. And we're gonna pull that. And then there's a cap there, there's a cap there, a cap, a bunch of. All right, let's start with the socket. The socket is right here, it's this one here. Surprised if I go through the whole damn bottle on it. If I go through the whole bottle though, I'd be too, using too much. Get that one leg, I think that's bent over. That's causing me some grief. There we go. Yeah, you can see it is bent over. Uh, that might have an issue. That might have an issue too. Wow. That almost looks like the trace is gone. Let's see if we can. There's supposed to be a trace here that goes to that, and a trace that goes along there. Those almost look gone. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a little bit of corrosion, but we will definitely be checking that with continuity. And checking That one there definitely needs to be checked. I think these up here need to be checked. Fun stuff. If this isn't showing up on one camera, hopefully it's showing up on the other. I'm gonna lower this one down a little bit. Though. Maybe a little bit better. I don't know how much of that's showing up on camera. I guess we'll find out. Just need to get like permanent cameras set up and then we can. Maybe I can get these from, some of these from the top. off and might be able to get those from the top or at least 
Some of it. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Lift that one up so we can get to the one that's supposed to be below it. Uh, is there supposed to be one there? Doesn't look like it. But there is supposed to be one here. They're all broken off. Looks like it's, yeah, it looks like they already got rid of that one and got rid of the pads. on there that I can easily see now we'll flip it over and do it from this side okay, that would be down this way This one, the giant frickin' solder ball. That. Is that one next to it? No, the next one, the one next to it is actually a legitimate cap that's in place. However, the one next to it, I believe this one, Take out one too many, or take out one too many. There. There. All right, so yeah, that goes through. Whatever that is. Okay, get in there.
And that's going to be the ugly stuff to get rid of. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> yeah, that traces, those traces are toast. Man. That's yeah, going to be a fun little cleanup. So it looks like they soldered it right on to an, the existing leg. Couldn't even remove the old one. I have to push that one through with the iron. Alright, so we have these two that are, looks like they are almost touching. Those two will never touch again, or potentially touch again. Hold it up to the light. Looking to see if there's any holes that I missed, possibly, or if there's a pin stuck in a hole. I think I got everything. All right. Now we're gonna check to see if there's any other caps. Oh, yep, right here. Uh, again, well, that one looks like the pad is already just toast on the, on this one. Oh, missed one. Maybe this one. like the pads missing from the no oh, nah, it's just dirty all right where are you 
You are right here. Oh, that leg is bent over as well. Some of these legs are probably getting sucked up into that, into the desoldering drum. Did I take on a task that I shouldn't have taken on? Eh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to save the rams for last. So we need to take out that and that. And then we'll do the rams. We're going to pull all the rams and then so that we can socket them. And we'll test them in my tester. And we'll sock at those bastards. Did we miss uh, that one missing there? Yep. There we go. Now there was a broken cap in here somewhere too. Where was that one? Probably grab there it is right there. I believe it was this one right here. There it is. At least that half of it. upside down. There it is right there. Here's the other portion of it. You can just replace those with the regular caps. That's not a big deal. Well eventually you want to well I guess I can pull these out too since I'm going to replace those. I also pull everything out that I'm going to replace. Go ahead and grab those caps out while then while I'm thinking about it. I have another board I can compare against. Plus I have the original pictures. Come on. What are you at for twenty-five? Next to it. Oh, 105C, huh? 125. Here. Yeah, those are the most beat up ones. Yeah, this one down here is beat up too.
Sometimes little blobs come out. Okay. Next. Let's pull the body off of this one. Okay, I guess. Oh, I might want to replace that chip too. It looks bad. The legs are just all corroded and crap. <laughs> Gonna wind up replacing half of everything on this board, huh? Well. I can bring this one back to life, I think I can bring most back to life. We'll see. There is no guarantee that any of this will be worthwhile. enough to create uh, a seal. Desoldering. Oop, too soon. Don't want to do it too soon, then it makes it harder. Solder spitting out there. Ooh. Almost hit my thumb on the end of that. Shooting out of this damn thing. I'm gonna have to clean it. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Problematic. That's better.
clean that one up. Okay, now the fugly ones. Well, I might as well go ahead and do this one. I'll put a little extra flux on that to make sure. The Pins are bent over. And... <coughs> Try to save as much of the pads and stuff as possible. <coughs> but uh, it's looking like most of the pads are gone. This comes out. God. That is just ugly. boy did they put solder on the top of it too oh yes they did you know what what is that that is a 7408 we are just gonna cut this sucker out should have started with this where's my other clippers Get a little bit finer of a point on them. something on the other side oh, that one no that one's is it that one there it is look at that piece of crap all right now the fun fun stuff
legs out if they come out. they did on that one hmm. there we go on the bottom Push that through. Might have to get like a wire wrap socket or something to longer legs for this because there are no pads left on most of this. Picking shrapnel out of something. Yeah, we're gonna look at that under the microscope at some point because that is ugly. There's a pin right there. sure we're not bridging any of the traces over here because these are all exposed well that's one shitty job done out gonna be a lot of jumpers That is, what is that? Oh, that is the crystal, isn't it? <laughs> oh, beautiful. that are sticking there so that's where the crystal goes right there and basically from that to that and that to that it looks like okay yeah that trace is obliterated we should be able to do that with the leg, the crystal. All right, what's next? What do we got on the bottom that we can, oh, there's a leg.
think the ram is going to be next. And we'll deal with that probably tomorrow. Because that is a lot of damn desoldering. And I got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be eight. Should there not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. This has got to be. Well, that was the one I took out of there. That was, should have been the prom. Oh, no, that was Ram. That's Ram. Uh, where the heck's the prom on this one? There was a prom on this board. Am I imagining things? Apparently I'm imagining things. Okay, well. That's it for now. We'll pick this up again. Tomorrow. Made some pretty decent progress though. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of the, well, get rid of, pull the rams, which are all these. This is the butchered area. We'll see how this, how this works out. Uh, we already have that one out, so we need to pull that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Is that one on? Well, we should just be able to count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So from here to here. So that first one is not a ram. Okay, so let's get started. Some of these legs are bent over, so that's going to give us a little bit of grief, but we can, should be able to bend those over with the iron, the desoldering gun. If they don't want to come out easily, then I will be more than happy to cut them. Cut the legs, but we're going to try getting them out with the iron first. solder mask but that's to be expected considering the shape that this board is in It's a little more challenging, but if they're really bad, I can get out the exacto and bend them up that way. But these don't look too bad. That one looks 
looks like it might be a bent over slightly. Yeah, it's from this angle. Okay, so that should be two of them. Right, yeah, that camera is not that great because it's a fixed focus camera, so you won't be able to see a lot of detail, but. It's nice when they just drop out, but uh, that one can... this one here. I'm gonna redo that one. better. Pushing them away from the edge. Right. Very little to no pressure, just enough to see if it'll lift. If it doesn't, then you still need to do some more solder removal. Just want to try to keep as many of these traces intact as possible so that I don't have to do as much rework. Legs are probably bent over, preventing it from coming out easily. Yeah. Right. It doesn't look like we pulled any pads up, which is good. And look at that. See if that'll focus on that. How wonderful those legs are. Probably should just clip these out. Uh, they're four one one sixes. It's not like they're rare or anything. side. No, I did not. It doesn't look like it. Nope, did not. No, no point in trying to pull that one out. I think with the others I'm just going to clip them. Out. I don't really need to save four one one sixes. I have a lot of them. It's 
going to be more important to save the board than it is the chip in this particular case. And no, I'm not throwing crap onto the ground. I have a trash can right next to me. That's the problem with the legs on these is they're all bent over. I think I'm about ready to cut this one out, even though it's already almost out. the legs are little hooks okay so far so good this one yeah I'm just gonna start cutting them out try to do is use a fine point cutters cut up as close to the body as I can and then you can lift it one way maybe yeah this one's got a thick body on it so you can't really do it with this one some of these you can just lift it and then just cut straight along that side, but this one's going to be a pain in the ass. I see. Oh, this one's just crumbling. Yeah, that's a sign of a good chip, right? When it starts to crumble. This one's going to come apart. You get to see the inside of it. Ta -da. That's the inside of a 4116 RAM chip because the top popped off. Decapped it while I was decapitating it. All right, let's go ahead and cut the others out and then we will deal with the desoldering the legs here. Less wear and tear on the traces for chips that I don't really care if I have replacements for. This one, since the traces are messed up on this side, I'm going to not attempt to bend it at all. Cut them out as high as possible. Oop, did I miss one? Oh, I did. I'm glad I got that one. Okay. Definitely remove that and we can uh, deal with the traces afterwards.
Don't want to get the board dirty. So I might only have to jump her these couple chips here. If the rest of the things are good. the plastic broke off on that. That was probably me using too much force. Lift it up a little bit like that. It's not working out well for these. Continue. Little pieces of the plastic are falling off. Oh well. So to clip or not to clip, it all depends on the chip and depends on how much you want to save it. There's two left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Four 116s, you need them, them in multiples of eights because each chip holds a bit at a time for each bite. There's eight bits in a bite, so you need eight chips. Can't see that it broke. A little bit more plastic off. That's fine. These chips are probably brittle from age and heat and everything else, so not surprising. More concerned about the quality of the trace. Good sharp pointy cutters are a good thing to have. These are xylite. Xylite. I really like these. These are a good set of clippers. They're what's called a flush cutter because they can sit flush on the board. Whereas other cutters are not don't have a flat bottom. Alright, all the rams cut out. So really the only bad traces for the ram, it's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Probably going to have to run, you know, four or five jumpers. We'll see. So I need to remove the rest of those. And we'll remove all the pins, clean it up, test cut, and then we can start testing continuity, assuming I don't need to take anything else out. I don't think there's anything else on the board I need to remove. And I did find another missile command kit which will help because then I will be able to just plug that in and not worry about the ROMs. 
and then we can deal with it after that. Yeah, you never, well, I may replace this, I may replace this one here, because the legs on it look horrible. This looks like this part of the board might have been underwater or something. So what is that? That is a 7407. Do I have 7407s? I do not. So we will not be replacing that one yet. I should probably look in the schematics to see what it's used for. Uh, I could try cleaning it up with my uh, fiberglass pencil too to see how, how good the legs are. But they definitely look corroded like crazy. Alright, let's finish the pins, shall we? Uh, now we get into the ugly section. Yeah, that one you can see is already lift the pad is gone on that one all right I'm hoping this won't be as bad as it let me get uh, the exacto out here maybe in uh, this these here look bad though Is the one we want to stop on. The pin should practically fall out. Some of them are hooked, a little bent, so they got a little hook on them. cut anything. Just looking it's got exacto has a nicer point on it. So you can usually slide it under there and bend it up a little bit. Usually without too much trouble, but these two pins are there we go. Okay. Bend that up. Just trying enough to 
get the iron on it a little, this desoldering iron on it a little straighter. We're not scraping, we're just trying to get it underneath the pin a little bit and twist up. Not slide, twist. That one might be okay because it's like mushed right onto the pad. It's uglier and uglier and uglier the further that way I go. So we'll see what happens. fall through they can get sucked into that and you can see the legs uh, I like to use these as like kind of needle nose pliers but they actually do a pretty good job of gripping pins like to stick to it. These cool down pretty quick so not, not a real risk of burning yourself. Looking good on the top. It's all about finesse. Two, three, four, five, six, six more rows to go. Probably could have bent up a little bit, but they look like they're doing okay. Let's just make sure I don't have too many legs in here stuck in here. Well, the fun, the fun now starts to begin. Cut them off from this side, I'll cut them off from this side too. Just 
fold it over. Try desoldering it from the top side too. Yeah, it's not not working as well as it should be. Probably almost full of solder too. <laughs> oh yeah, that pad's gone. Okay, we're not doing we're not having much luck with that, are we? Let's see what we can pull out from the top. And then, might have to get the other iron involved. Just trying not to destroy anything. That's the key here. Try not to destroy it any more than that's already been destroyed. Some of it's going to get destroyed just because it was already mutilated. But we try to minimize that. Yeah, it likes to stick to that. I don't know if these are magnetized or something. Yeah, so yeah. That one doesn't want to come out. Didn't even do that one. Did I? All right, that one still got one stuck in it. That one's gonna come out. Uh, okay. Cut them up. It can be dangerous. Alright, so... That one's there, that one's there, that one is there. Gonna add a little more solder to each one and try that again. Might have to let the uh, 
it's not sticking to that. that fell out of the desoldering gun. Hopefully not part of the board. Not recommended to pull it from this side because the top is typically bigger than the swung from the bottom. or something that Trying to hide. Yeah, the bottom of this board is just not pretty. A little new solder mixed in with the old sometimes helps too, especially with these. This is actually looking like it's working pretty well doing this. One thing I have a lot of is extra solder. see where the frickin' pins are. Oh yeah, that's... I have no idea where the pin starts and the board ends. Those I might have to grab from the top. Solder from the top. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna do these from the top simply because on the bottom it's almost impossible to tell where they are. They fall out the bottom, that's fine by me. I think that's a trace <laughs> or a pin. Missed a whole row. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no pad on that. I think that trace is toast. one might as well try it from the top here Trace is coming up. Uh, okay, that's yeah, that is the trace. That's a trace there. trace. Now that one goes that way. This one goes this way. Stubborn. Try to grab these from the other side if they're going to cooperate. Uh, 
Okay, maybe not. If I cut these off. And that one keeps falling through, so we might be able to grab with the iron. I don't really want the ones that are going to come out peacefully. If it fights me, then we'll deal with it from the other side. Some of these are just the pen pins are bent, so you just gotta grab them for twist them a little bit to come out. Whee! And that trace. Don't know where that trace is supposed to go. Well, that's just all right let's take a look at this we're going to all right now we can take a look at this a little bit under the microscope so where is my microscope Light on. Let's go ahead and set the camera up to look at the microscope. Fancy, fancy camera work again. Okay, get out my rail here. Put that on there. And then we need to focus a little bit. That's not too bad. do we want to look at first uh, you can see the trace peel up here Let's see if I can focus that a little bit better So that trace got went to here. Uh, let's go. I'm going to switch to the smaller rail here and then we're going to go chip by chip. But that'll probably be a better way to do it. That one's good. That one. Uh, let's see. That's not too bad that way. Those don't look too bad. And that trace will definitely need to be cleaned up. That needs to be cleaned up a little bit. 
probably some solder wick. Take care of a lot of that. That needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Not too bad on that though. And this is just the top side. We're gonna go back and yeah, went the wrong direction here, but we'll go back the other way. Didn't too bad, it doesn't look too bad there. We'll get to the ugly stuff here. Uh, is there a pin still on that one? Or is it just uh, an opt uh, it's just an optical illusion, I think. We'll definitely, when I go to put the socket in, we'll know. Okay, now the ugly stuff. No pad, no pad, trace is mangled, pad is mangled. There might be a pad under all that crap. Probably not though. Mangled trace, mangled trace, no pad. I think that just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. We're gonna have to clean all this fluxing crap off. Uh, mangled, but mm, probably salvageable. Missing mangled trace. Mangled traces. That one. Uh, this one here should go to that. This one here should go up. And this one here should go to that. More than likely, I'm going to probably cut those off and just jumper uh, so that they don't sl risk sliding around. Uh, it needs to be mangled, missing pad, mangled trace. I don't think that's where that one's supposed to go. I uh, don't know where the hell that one came from. I bet that one goes, yeah, that one goes up, I bet. I bet you, where's my exacto knife here? I bet this one was supposed to go up this direction. All the patching will be done from the bottom side of the board. Uh, yeah, those are on, so yeah, that one. <laughs> Mangled, mangled, little something, that's a fresh solder blob for me, probably. Uh, I should be taking pictures of this stuff here. Down here we go. This mm, probably missing the pad here. Uh, another trace here going to that probably went all the way up that way. That one actually looks like it still has a pin stuck in it. It does. We'll get rid of that pin. Uh, let's see if we can... Probably have to get that one from the bottom. We can, yeah, that one. 
that one still has a pin in it. We'll fix that. Uh, <laughs> that's an ugly looking one. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to go that way. I think that was maybe somebody's patching that I didn't completely remove. We'll definitely need to completely remove that. Uh, yeah, I think that there. I think this is a, pa a patch here, and that might have been the trace. Not sure what the heck they were doing with that. Everything else. Everything else looks pretty decent. I mean, a little bit of damage on the pads, but I don't think there's going to be anything in there that's going to really affect connectivity or the ability to solder to it. That's the main thing I'm concerned about is when I go and put those sockets in for those, that one particular socket, or one RAM chip, there's nothing for the solder to really grab onto. Definitely checking continuity on all this. Uh, there, look at that. Another broken trace. Now this is on the very first one I pulled out, it looks like. Let me get this set up and then we can focus. Oh, no, focus is good. fiberglass pencil on. Let me hit this with a fiberglass pencil and see if we <sighs> see if it improved that at all. Well, I did on the tops but I just need to get it in the, on the sides a little bit. The one that really concerns me about corrosion is this one all the way over here. Look at those legs. Look at that. That one is probably one I really want to replace. Let's see what the other legs look like. this direction. Yeah. Got two test loops in the way preventing me from getting the microscope where I want to get it. Did you get the idea? Ugly, ugly, ugly. Turn that off. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna clean this up, uh, hopefully, and then we can look at the, da the real damage underneath all the other crap if that crap comes up. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, now we're gonna look at the bottom of the board. Uh, this is not the RAM chip, this is the chip in the middle of the board. I don't remember what location it was, but uh, you can see that it's missing quite a few pads, a couple mangled ones. That trace there, let's see. This one here looks like it's broken. That one there looks like it might be broken. We'll, we'll find out, hopefully, for sure when I clean this off, but. Not pretty. Alright, let's go to this one here. We're going to have to go through the whole board and find all the cold solder joints and stuff too. That's going to be probably the most tedious and time consuming part of this because I'm going to have to go by row by row by row. That doesn't look too bad. This is one of the good RAM chips. Nothing looks majorly messed up on that. I mean, it's just garbage all over the place. It's gonna have to require a good scrubbing. Okay, next one up. Doesn't look too bad on that one. That one's kind of mangled a little bit. But I think it'll live. Nothing c catastrophic on that one. We're getting to the ugly ones, though. Uh, keep forgetting I can use my mouse as a mouse as a pointer instead of having to try to. And we'll get rid of that. Hopefully all this stuff will clean up nice. That's mangled a little bit there. It's just whatever this crap is that they have on top, we're going to have to clean it off. Hopefully I don't need to get out my belt sander. Did I miss a pin? Or is that still the one I need? Nah, uh, that's probably the one I still need to remove. I mean, that is just solder in there. Uh, no, there's nothing in that hole. It's just could be an optical illusion. Okay, I think we're gonna start getting into the ugly stuff now. Uh, up here we go. Okay, so this is a trace. This is a hole, supposedly. I'm thinking that trace went to that, uh, possibly. Or, well, I don't know, we're going to have to look at it, probably have to look at it on the board to see where those go. Uh, there's a hole there. I don't see any pads. Well, uh, but they could be buried under all that brown goo. Uh, mangled pretty good, mangled pretty good. Let's uh, take a picture of that one.
this trace here is supposed to be a, a straight line but as you can see it's kind of wavy okay Uh, look, another leg's still stuck in there. Yeah, we'll go through and clean this up a little more. Uh, yeah, that looks part like a part of the leg. That's might just be solder there. <laughs> another leg still in there. Those are probably the ones I started desoldering from the top, and that's probably why they're still there. Uh, looks like I missed one completely there. Right there. We'll go and fix that one. Alright, missed another one there. This is why we inspect. Yeah, in fact, I can physically see them from here. They're just that one is loose, so I can pull that one. That one's gone. That one, however. stuck in there still a little bit and look at the hole in that thing. <laughs> They'd be doing a lot of touch up here. I think that's those are the worst of it. Come on, Rod, keep the camera straight. The microscope straight. Not bad, just a lot of clean up on that. Clean up, clean up, clean up. A lot of elbow grease. Uh, oh, the, I bet those were some jumpers were. That's why those are missing solder. That looks like rust. That rust remover, I wonder if that would help. I wonder if it do more damage. That looks a little iffy. Uh, This should be the last one. A little bit mangled, not horrible. Yeah, we'll see how well this cleans up. That definitely looks like rust. So that. Uh, so this board might have been stored in a damp place. Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the... This is the pokey slot.
Seems to be okay on that. solder blob there. I can probably be, yeah, I think I can just, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a little ball of solder. Yeah, I'll clean that up after I clean up the board. Once I get all, most, if I can, if I can get most of this crap off of here, then I'll, uh, go through and touch up what I can yeah just little bits of solder all over the place that there that's just a little bit of a blob of solder sitting on the top of that that's hit that with the desoldering gun and it'll be gone in no time all right now we go for this is the CPU socket. Okay, all the traces appear to be okay. All the pads look intact. Side. And there's pin one. Okay. Uh, the ROM sockets. Little mangled. Not horrible. Still stuffed to solder too. Lots and lots and lots of cleanup to do. Yeah, let's see if we can do two at a time here. Yeah, that will do one at a time. Mm. Well, that's not a trace. More solder blobs. That's up there. It's this one up here. A little bit of solder still on that one. That's a number one. <laughs> Is that a trace? No. Yeah, that's fine. To say this board has seen better days is an understatement. All right. 
right, that's it. My hand is sticky to the board. Because of all that flux, whatever else happens to be on there. All right, I'll go clean it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do this socket here. This is the worst of, worst of them all. solder down what we can which is anything that still has a pad Part of a pad though will work. Okay, 